All right, so this is my first experience with Turo. I got a, didn't have to see anybody. Got a key box. Got this nice little Highlander. I think that's what it is. Toyota Highlander. There can only be one. I'm doing my little pre-ride check here. Make sure there isn't any damage. So uh, a little bit of a little bit of damage on the wheel. Nothing bad. Can't really see too good here because it's uh, in the shade. It's a little bit dirty, but it's not like dirty, dirty. Nothing bad expected. Looking for any dents. So, uh, I ain't got to pay no fees. Probably give the thing a little bath. But, pretty dang clean car. Reasonably priced. It's missing some stuff up here for the, <clears throat> the rack. I'll probably do another video when I get to a better place where I can see I can see the car better but I don't see any big damage anywhere got a, one key get in here it's relatively clean got a little bit of a little bit of food debris and stuff but I mean what you gonna do I ain't looking for, for perfection. And if I was renting like a high-end car or something, there's some stains on the seat here. They definitely are not for me. There. Just taking my time and looking through it all trunk trunk how the rear seats are kind of somebody left behind a bottle the rear seats are kind of funky looking like somebody put the seats down with stuff on the seats but like I said I don't care I ain't looking for the perfection but I got like a quarter bottle frappuccino for free so a little bit of Little bit of scratch marks from somebody hauling something. I, again, I don't care. I'm just trying to cover my butt. Cover my butt. Uh, so that little stain in the seats. So, but yeah, the process for renting the car was awesome. Uh, like, I mean, took probably all of maybe 10 minutes to set up the account download everything I mean it took longer to find the find the car than uh, than do the process and it's got a really cool um, really cool uh, a way you can you know, search around you where it pulls up all the different prices and you can just, you know, click on each price and it pulls up the cars. Um, you can set your price limits you want. You can pick cars or trucks or, um, the only thing I would recommend with the app is, uh, it having like a, like a sports car selection instead of just picking cars. Like if you could pick, you know, the button that says like 
specialty sports cars or you know because a, a lot of the like sr the chargers or something if you wanted to rent a a mustang gt or cobra it would be cool if they had a different button so you didn't have to go through all of the other um like regular cars because that's what i'd like to do eventually is is rent like a high-end car for a couple days um you know take it to the take it to the mountains or something like corvette or i mean they do have corvette that's pretty easy to look for but there's not a ton of different models of corvettes you, know, you got a corvette you got what two other models really to choose from so but i mean you pick something like a charger and you want a charger srt8 or something there's not really a selection for that it just pulls up all the chargers so this does say maintenance required i don't know what that what kind of maintenance not my problem i'm gonna exit out of that with that and right now it's got 135,768 miles which honestly this car is very clean for that i mean nice storage i mean like would i say it's perfectly clean no i mean we got a little bit of stuff up here but this this provider is like I didn't have to talk to them. I mean, they did answer me pretty quickly uh, when I sent them messages. I did ask them if I could pick it up a little bit early. Um, yeah, I got here like 15, 20 minutes early. And then they messaged me and said, hey, you know, we'll check into the early pickup policy. And I was just like, I don't worry about it. Like, I'll just take some pictures first and hang out in the parking lot. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't smell like smoke in here it doesn't smell like nastiness really doesn't have any smell at all which is nice i know sometimes people rent cars and they smoke in them or they just smell like the marta train station or something you know um but i uh had to rent a car my car's in the shop my mom's in the hospital i kind of have to have something uh, my only other mode of transportation is my motorcycle and right now it's like 20 degrees outside here in georgia so uh yeah i'm not gonna be riding around town on my motorcycle i think this car was like about 50 dollars a day um i'm renting it from wednesday today's wednesday to you know sunday afternoon and i'm pretty sure my total was like about 350 with taxes um all the other fees and i paid like the extra 55 dollars for some additional insurance through turo because uh I, I picked the one that's like three i think it's like three thousand dollars deductible is the most you'd pay if something happened like it got stolen or you got into a bad accident uh, but i'm pretty sure my own insurance will insure this somewhat too i still have to call them and find out for sure but i'm pretty sure that they do cover um when you're renting a car and sometimes your credit card company does too so that would be a good thing to check into like say you don't want to spend the 55 dollars, or there's another option for more insurance where you only pay 500 dollars deductible which uh you know if i was driving a ton going out of town I might get more insurance for it, but I'm really just, I'm never going to reach this 600 miles in this thing. I'm going to be driving around town a little bit. Plus I got to work most of these days. I work from home. So that's one reason why I don't really have like, you know, more cars and stuff because I really don't go a lot. Look there I am. Look, I got a big old mark on my face, man. Crazy. I look like a whoo looking funky looking funky today but yeah i mean uh great experience so far uh it has a full tank of gas i'm gonna go ahead and set reset my mileage here it's got trip a trip b so i'm gonna go to trip a because it looks like trip b they may have this set for for when they do their oil changes so i'm gonna go to trip a and i'm gonna change that to 
zero miles so that way i can kind of know how much miles i'm putting on it i mean i'm never going to reach the 600 allotted miles uh i mean there's absolutely no way i'm going to hit that because i mean i'm just around town but uh yeah i'm definitely going to do this again great experience so far everybody seems to be cool i i messaged uh Turo, um, you know, just asking him a couple questions, and I didn't think I'd get a response. You know, I mentioned that I have, uh, you know, some YouTube channels and TikTok and Facebook, and that I was going to share my experience because it was it was really good from the beginning. And uh, I got a message back from him probably within ten minutes. Uh, they shared with me a link, you know, for for influencers to check out so i sent them an email you know seeing you know what i could do because i only share stuff that i do but in, and i don't even mind if if i don't get anything from it you know who cares but you know it's kind of cool to get some reward maybe some kind of referral thing or whatnot but yeah i mean my friend i was talking to him because i i don't think i've ever actually rented a car myself like back in the day, my mom has had friends that have when we go on vacation, but I've never actually rented a car and everything I've seen about the process of renting a car through enterprise or other companies, it's a pain in the ass. I mean, it's just takes so long. I think even when I've been up there with them, I mean, sometimes you're in the office for two hours and then a lot of times you secure a car through them, you reserve it and you show up and they don't have it. I mean, last time we went to to uh, Panama City Beach with a friend of mine, uh, they didn't have the car. They had to wait another hour and a half for them to bring an SUV from from another enterprise that was like a while a, a ways away. So they're just sitting there like like how do you reserve a car and it's not there? You make a payment, you put a car, in, and then you show up to get it at your allotted time, and it's not there here like i showed up it's here i'm good to go no bs i didn't have to talk to anybody um you know the only thing i really had to do was uh that you know maybe a little bit hard for some people is took a picture of my license right after i set it up and front and back and then i took a picture of myself holding my license and uh did it through the app and i was good to go no other requirements you know, I have read, you know, when I was looking into the two row that, you know, if you're under the age of 25, it is a good bit more expensive because of the insurance. You got to pay some extra money. So definitely think about that. If you're under 25, I mean, you absolutely have to have a credit card to set it up. Um, but you don't have to pay, you know, a high, um, like deductible first. You know, a lot of times these car companies, they'll charge you an extra $300 up front. Uh, you know, just to ensure that they're going to get their money and then you get it back when you bring it back. But with Turo, none of that. Um, it's good to go. I'm going to drive this thing around, get this weird ass thing out of the window. But I mean, it was cool. I didn't have to go in and talk to anybody. Uh, it's a cool little lockbox. Took a second to figure it out, but. You know, some people that never use the lockbox, sometimes you gotta play around with some of them. But um, yeah, so I got that out of the window. Check, I mean, the windows are a little bit slow, but it's freaking cold out here. Make sure all the windows work. The heat's working, which is definitely needed. Cause it's cold as a mother flower. Everything's working, heat. So, see what we got on the radio here. Some gangster rap or something. Let's see. Let's see who what, what they were listening to before. What, what's going on here? Audio. Oh, they was listening to Blue Balls, Bluetooth, Car. I'll figure it out. I know you guys don't want to sit here and watch me figure out this radio. But anyway, cool news. 
I definitely uh, recommend trying it. This is my first time. I'm going to use it again a lot because this is a pretty awesome experience. It's relatively inexpensive, but yeah, back to the story with my friend too with the, the Enterprise. I mean, when he was renting you know, a pickup truck to go to Florida, you know, they don't charge by the miles anymore. It's charged by the day, and I think he's normally spending like $700, seven dollars $800 to rent from Enterprise. Um, that's ridiculous, like, to me. You know, take a trip and spend that kind of money. Here I'm having this from, you know, Wednesday afternoon to Sunday evening, which is longer than